Hey everyone to, hey, in Retech, how to use a Simulink FFT and the module IFFT in Simulink MATLAB. So first of all, open the MATLAB and go here to the icon Simulink. And after that, it will be open. You can select any template or just do one by one. So uh, the DSP or just let's search for the library browser. After that, we can select a library and then we look for sign. In our case, we're looking for the sign. So let's keep going until we find the DSP. So after that, we can change the amplitude, for example, frequency, the sample time. So here we have this scoop. For this scoop, we have various uh, various things that we can change. First, we change the input domain. In our case, because we are checking the input signal, we will be in the time domain. The FFT, uh, as you know, we need to select how many what is the dimension, right? But we are taking from the input, so in, we inherited from the FFT blend from the input, all right? Uh, something important is the Y output by the FFT length, right? Because when we can, we need to have the accurate magnitude after the FFT is applied. To plot it in the frequency domain, we need to do the actual value to take the real and imaginary part, right? For the frequency vector, then we go to the scope. We verify that we have the F minus divided by two and the F divided by two positive. Magnitude here, we select magnitudes, no phase. Then we inherit the sample also from the input. What about going backwards and using the IFFT? So we open and here we have something different. We don't need to divide the output, right? Because we are going backwards. So we want the whole value, of the magnitude, the amplitude of the signal in this case. So also we inherit the FFT length from the input. And then the input is a conjugate symmetric. So we have the real imaginary part. So this is helpful and we should have it so there is no confusion if we take it off then we need to do it by ourselves dividing here in the simulink we need to divide the real and imaginary part and then select the correct one we want to plot then we go to the his, uh, scope this is wrong so we need to fix it because it should be the time we want to see the input put signal the so time then we run it after running we will see all the output so the first scope is the output so scope four so we zoom in let's do it one more time because we cannot see it properly let's zoom in and we could see the amplitude from minus one to one we can see the frequency, I mean, in the time, we can see the peaks, the scope tree now from the input. And then we have here for the frequency domain, you see the magnitude is 0 0.5. So it's dividing half to the left minus frequency and half to the right. So we have here the frequency, the minus and positive. That's all for the video. Please subscribe, give it a like, share it. Bye bye.